In this quick and easy tutorial, I'll show you how to might simulate a simple kind of ocean scene. Now, you know, in Blender, there's this ocean simulator built in, and it's very powerful. You can make waves and do all kinds of things. I mean, it's really powerful. So this is not quite the same thing. This is simply cloth effects from, like you saw in the previous tutorial. I have a, I have a wind object here, and if you look at this, this is just a subdivided mesh symmetrically like this in the scene. So that's what's making the uh, waves, the appearance of the waves. Let's see if I can get this going. All right. So it goes like that. But then this object here in the scene might be your boat. You could just shape that into a boat. It's just a cube for now, but that's no big deal, as you've seen from many of the other lessons. But to get it to kind of interact with the wave, it's not a perfect interaction with the wave because it's not changing its angle, but it is bobbing with the waves a little bit. And it's, it's enough to give it to simulate an effect in some simple animations if you get the right lighting and the colors and the whole nine yards. So the way you do it, let's say I add another cube to the scene over here. If I was just to add a regular cube, make this one different. I don't know. There we go. And if I just was to parent it to this, since this is a cloth object, this has all the physics effects associated with it. And if I was just to then shift and grab this and parent it like normal, control P, I would parent it to the object, and let's see what happens. Well, nothing, because it, it just doesn't know about it. It doesn't have any physics effects. Well, if I, you know, if I turned that into its own cloth object, what would happen? Well, we could. Let's see what happens there. Since, since that's a cloth, and that's a cloth, and that's parented to that, let's see what happens. We'll add a cloth object to that. Let's see if we, oh, we need to go give it a create a quick group for it by going to the vertex group add a, we'll use the default group name and we'll let it float free like that all the vertices okay so now it's a group and we'll go back and grab the group and pin it down now it should take effect the next time it comes around and there it is so it is moving with the wind but it's still not bobbing up and down like that so it doesn't really give you the same effect in fact you can barely see it maybe it's because it's not quite close enough to the wind like that okay so it's it doesn't work that way alright so let's get rid of this object again and then so the way you have to do it in order to make this effect work and it's really fun is and it's easy so this is kind of an intermediate intermediate tutorial because it's not quite as obvious so you just I'll scale it down again, give it a, that same color as before. And what you do when, first of all, you have this object selected, so that's the child, and this is going to be the parent, so you shift and select that one like we just did before. But now, since this is the active object, because I just selected it, now I'll go into edit mode. And then I'll pick a vertex, make sure I'm in vertex select mode, and I'll just pick, say, this vertex right there and then I can parent it. This was, this was still essentially selected so now I go control P and now notice it says make vertex parent instead of just make object parent. Alright so now I've parented it to the vertex like this and I'll escape and then let's, it's still running so when it comes back around it should be control but it should be affecting it and there it is. So it bounces in this scene and we can just move it down closer to the surface in there like that. And then you can simulate your little boats floating in the water you know for that effect now you can even change these on their own you could do some kind of rotation on these say R Y separately if you want or whatever but we'll deal with the more advanced lessons for that but for for starters it's a great way to get some cool action going okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson